So good morning children So I hope that I had given you the question answers of the chapter 3 civics and I had sent the photos uh, and other things so it is clear to you I hope and some of the answers are not there in the textbook so I searched from the net and I got it Uh, that has forwarded the answers. That's in the photo that you need to write. Okay. Now listen. Now the next one is the the next one we are going to study. This is the syllabus for the midterm. The revolt of eighteen fifty seven. That is what we are going to study. It's a very as uh, Shreya just said. Uh, this is an interesting chapter. Is a uh, this chapter you study not only for the eighth standard. This chapter you study for the all life, and the knowledge that you are getting from this chapter that is needed for every time. Even if you go for the higher studies, even if you go for a civil service, even if you go, even if you go for an interview or any kind of test, the portions or the knowledge or the information from this chapter will be useful for you for any interview or any test. the knowledge from this one will be asked even if you go for a civil service exam so this chapter is so very much important for you to uh, more than getting the mark you need to know what was the history of india so this textbook doesn't give much information like other books but it gives only just an information just information about the revolt of 1857 so here and one thing before we go to the chapter that we need to understand the revolt of 1857 this is a name given by the indian people we call it is a revolt of 1857 but the british people they call it as a sepoy sepoy mutiny and uh, sepoy means the soldiers in the lower level mutiny means jo ladai wagera jo low level ki jo sepoy jo soldiers ka jo ladai that is what the name they have given the britishers had given this name but for us indian historians are concerned or the people of india or the historians of india they have given much importance to this and they call it as a they call it as a the first revolt of a, the, the revolt of 1857 this is the first independent struggle we can say in another name this is the first independent struggle against the britishers or the, this is the first uh, a strong revolt against the britishers for their colonialism in india and now another some of the general point that you need to understand about this chapter is the revolt of 1857 so it was started it was started man that is uh, all of a sudden that is uh, they have, they were able to kill uh, some of the british officials and they had taken the power and it is mainly from meerat it is started and it came to delhi and the bahadur shah suffer that he was the last uh, king of uh, mughal emperor so he has been uh, again installed as the king of india by the soldiers and all basically this was started by some of the soldiers from the british army who were indians and now they revolted again because they the british in the british army that is the indian people they were always treated inferior so though they are working for the britishers 
so they they were always treated very inferior manner by the british authority and they cannot get a higher promotion they can uh, they can go to a minimum level beyond that level even if they are capable so british army british people they won't give the promotion for them so the life in the army even though they get the money but they are what uh, this is they need to uh, just always remain in the lower level and besides you know that is here in india that we are just highly strong in the caste system brahmins vaishyas kshatriyas shudras and all categories are there but in the military what happened is so here even if a person from vaishya or a kshatriya or shudra so for example most brahmins may not be less may not may, may be very less but if a person from a brahman he has been selected in the military and that is a shudra the last stage of the society so here they are both of them are the soldiers or british soldiers they have to stay together eat together and all and the brahmin person cannot accept brahmin person as far as brahmin person superiority in the amara ji indian samaj mein jo situation is concerned so it is not uh, possible for them to tolerate because a person from the shudra cannot sit with a person from the brahmin vaishya kshatriya or uh, brahmin community but in the military they all are it uh, they are all together and now beside this one there are there are so many reasons that we are going to study in detail i'm just in, uh, giving an introduction and another point uh, there are, there are so many economic reasons are there political reasons are there and may there is a, an immediate reason what was the reason for immediate reason for the 1857 revolt because the britishers had introduced a new uh, bullet new gun that is called enfield gun in which the bullets are the bullet cases are there so they need to bite open it the bullets that we need to full, fill in the gun in fill gun so this uh, this has to be apna muh se phad ke kholna padta tha so they have to bite open it and uh, uh, that is then the bullet has to be inserted in the gun and all but the case of this bullet has been polished by some kind of fat some kind of fat so now it is a new spread the new spread that is this fat with the uh, the fat by which the gun is polished or this one cases are polished are the fat of cow and as far as the indian hindus are concerned so the fat, the cow is considered as a uh, cow is considered as a sacred one and they worship the cow and now that is uh, the fat of a cow on the gun for the polishing the gun and this uh, 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 the grease cover and all so it is uh, for them it cannot tolerate they cannot tolerate it so and uh, now the uh, they just spread that is a one new spread and beside there are muslim people were there in army and they there is another new source spread it is a fat of pig as far as the muslims are concerned as far as the muslims are concerned so the uh, fa- the pig is haram they cannot even touch it is as per their religion it is against their even touch or something on the pig it is a haram it is against their religion and they don't keep any kind of uh, interaction or connection with the pig and now there's another news also spread so it is cow and the fat of the pig the cow and the fat of pig are used to polish or to grease these bullets and all so to grease the bullets and all so now anyway now this is the muslims here concerned they believed the fact they do not know actual fact it is so that is they the news spread for the muslim it is a fact of a pig which is haram for them and for the hindus it is a fact of a cow that is sacred for them that they cannot use like this so that is it is against their religious belief so now hindus and muslims have got a, a chance to unite i am talking about within the army no public people are involved only the people in the military were involved in this so now uh, this is when this news spread so they refused and they will use this uh, enfield gun which is greased by the fat of an animal it can be either by the cow fat or it can be or by the uh, fat of a pig but anyway now the people were not happy with it people were not happy with it so they said they are not ready to use it and they said it has to be removed but britishers were not ready and that and the people protested against it 
and uh, when the people protested so it from the one unit it spread and they attacked and they even removed and they uh, even killed some of the british officials this happened in meerut basically so and uh, they killed some of the british officials and they there are some people the indian people were kept as a prisoners and they uh, take uh, taken these people out and now they even from this meerut it is spread to other area and all and finally what happened these people they marched from meerut to delhi and from meerut to delhi they marched and they now whatever they found the britishers they had uh, they, they they whatever they found the symbol of britishers and they remove they uh, this what is called they destroyed and they came to the red fort and uh, and there the last uh, mughal emperor bahadur shah zafar he called the military called them and installed him as the king of india but anyway that is now what happened that is one of the main drawback only some uh, uh, british uh, the british army who were the indians they were involved it is not spread to the common people and even even though it has spread to the some other units of military so the uh, even though it has spread to the other side of other areas of the military there was a, no common participation public people were not involved in it only the military people were involved and iske alawa there are certain in area other area uh, there were in other parts of the country so there were a uh, fight against the zamindars or the british even though there was some kind of fight or the revolution against the britishers or zamindar that had happened in the different area different parts of india there was no coordination so they had for they had fought for their own reason in another area they had fought for their another reason but even though there was a kind of fighting had taken place in the different parts of india india so there was no coordination among the people and they could not come together so one of the main drawback so many people could not join in this though they people they were against the british and iske alawa what was the main problem in this you know so many of the indian kings also they were not in favor of this uh, revolt of 1857 so they were always close to the britishers they all they all were very close to the britishers and they were ready to support the britishers they all were ready to support the britishers now even if even in india india the people were not organized properly people were not informed properly they had not made any preparation all of a sudden they got angry and they protested ekdam ajanak is shuru ho gaya without any proper plan and organization and what they did uh, they they kill some of the officials and they march and they install bahadur shah zafar asad and finally but here it is very clear you know indian people were not organized they don't have uh, only that is the, some military people are involved and many other people were not involved but the news spread in other area and some of the other country, other states in india they also took part and they took their own leadership there was no central leadership there was no organizing committee there was no proper instruction what is to be done what not to be done so har ek jagah mein jaise wo log ko feel hua usi taraf se they started revolting sometimes it is not against the british sometimes it is against the uh, sometimes I'm, i'm sorry for one minute this emergency uh, anji sir anji sir koi sun mein nahi aa raha na Uh, t- 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 sir, t- sir. I'm taking the class now. Okay. 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 Uh, then, uh, uh, so it was not organized. There is no central uh, or, or cent- uh, central level of organization. Or one place where those people who have felt the way, for example, Jansi ki jo Rani, like many people, so who have against act, have revolted, but there was no coordination among the people. So. different areas of the country some protest had been taken place so this is what general uh, awareness knowledge about this revolt of 1857 lekin britishers were organized and inki jo different provinces da so they had they were well organized and they had all modern equipments and all so when the when the soldiers all of a sudden attacked so they were defeated and they had to run, just uh, flee and they had to find some other safety places and all immediately what they did no so they had taken the regiment from madras and they they because the whole railway system and the network 
network railway network and all were under their control and from the different parts of their regiments and they brought a large number of army and now they brought the army and they fought against these people and mercilessly killed those people who were involved in the the revolt of 1857 so now uh, finally what happened this uh, badusha safar was has been captured and he has been exiled to the burma understood and many of the other the small area the kings who were involved most of them were defeated and killed mercilessly many people who were involved they were beaten up beaten to death and they were mercilessly tortured and killed finally that was uh, the revolt of 1857 it was a total failure the major reason why it was failed the reason was we were not organized and it was all of a sudden it was mainly restri- uh, just uh, confined in only certain pockets not all over india but there was it was not organized but britishers had an advanced modern uh, army weapons and all so they were organized so they could easily destroy the attempts made by the indian people so indian people in the sense the general public were very less now let us study in detail these are the main thing it was a failure and the reason for that is the reason for failure of 1857 revolt that also we will study so these are the gen- general awareness general knowledge that you should get about this chapter okay so now let us bring let us start with the chapter the introduction we must not forget that in the sky of india serene as it is a small cloud may rise the first at first no bigger than the man's hand but in which, but which growing bigger and bigger may at last threaten to overwhelm us in ruin that's an introduction i don't uh, okay ruin the spoke lord canning the governor general of british india in 1857 so what did he say that is uh, we must not forget that in the sky of india serene as it is small cloud may arise at first no bigger than the man's hand so he was indirectly saying that is uh, the sky of india is clean even though some cloud can spoil it some cloud can spoil it so now it is in the hands of is within the reach of man's hand so they could easily though the british though the indian people that is they fought against the britishers and uh, they could easily handle that is what according to the lord canning the governor general of british india in 1855 as even unfolded in one of the most turbulent period in the history of colonial india it brought to the brought to the fore and the truth in the uh, prediction of canning the revolt of 1857 was the clearest expression of popular resistance against the oppressive rule that wanted to retain control over india at all state so what does it mean so the revolt of 1857 it was the beginning it was the people had suffered a lot under the british and now the people started reacting so now this is the time that the people had suffered a lot and now they started uh, reacting against the britishers though it was a failure hundred percent failure i told you the reason for failures and all i told you but it was the beginning now the people started showing the british that is we are no more or we cannot tolerate you more so now the limit has come the british faced a sporadic uprising from the different parts of the country in 18 and the first half of 19th century so during the first half of 19th century and the end of the 18th century so the different parts of india the britishers had faced different levels of revolt or fighting against the britishers but britishers were able to control or suppress easy that's what lord canning said so the sky of india is still clear but there are some clouds that can come up but that is within the reach of man so that is uh, this these outbreaks were the cumulative effect of the general feeling of discontent among the people so why this kind, kind of things had happened in the different parts of india the discontent so the people cannot tolerate the people are not satisfied 
with the British rule. Uh, in 1857, the major appeal took place initially in the army, but soon it shook the foundation of the British rule. So here, you need to understand, what you need to understand is, what you need to understand is, so before the 1857, there were the different kinds of revolutions. We cannot say revolutions. It is a kind of fight that had taken place in the different areas of India, not coordinated. But this is the first time and some kind of people who are a large number of the people involved. For example, in West, West Bengal, me kuchu hai. Ek pocket me hua hai that was suppressed by British. UP me Jansi me hua hai. So why did that is uh, that was in a particular area that was suppressed by British. Punjab me kuch area me hua hai that was also suppressed by uh, British. It had no effect in other parts of the India. But this is the first time a revolt started by the uh, military. That really shook the foundation of India. It's a very kahi jaga mein hua hai, revolt hua hai. Britishers were able to easily handle them. Like in first time, the revolt of 1857, they call us a Sepoy mutiny. So that this was the first incident which really has shaken the base of Indian, so the British administration in India. Okay. Now, this is famous in the history as revolt of 1857 or the first war of independence for us the historians in india so uh, the indian historians say it is the revolt of 87, 1857 that is the first war of independence amare liye kya hai first war of independence like in british law ke liye kya hai this is the sepoy mutiny it registered the participation of the peasants, craftsmen, soldiers, artisans, nobles, uh, ru rulers. So, though it was started, but there are, when as it spread in many areas, the ordinary people, not a large number, I told you, large number of people were not involved. In certain area, the artisans, farmers, business class people, nobles, uh, that is, uh, all different category people were also involved. What was the reason? All these people had suffered under the Britishes. For example, a craftsman. I am a person who, is, who belongs to the craft. This one. And I used to make the craft and I used to sell, I used to get the money. Now the Britishes had imported many mission-made craft to India. Because of this reason, no one buy my product. And I become jobless. I, I don't have any income. So I am suffering a lot. So now naturally I have a kind of hated feeling towards the Britishes. So when this I say Mokka Milgia, person like me also join in this one. But it was not organized. So it registered the participation. It may say a plus point kya hai? It registered. Shayad naam matra mein hoga, kuch hoga, jyada members nahi hai. Naam this one, soldier, that it registered the participation of peasants, craftsmen, soldiers, artisans, nobles and rulers. In this chapter, we will touch upon the different aspects of this great reward which literally overwhelmed the british due to its intensity swiftness and mass appeal so britishers could easily put down the effort of the 1857 reward because i told you the introduction they are organized they have the control of railway they could easily bring the soldiers from the different parts of india they have the advanced type of equipment mission uh, uh, arms and ammunition so they could easily suppress this reward understood so this was only an introduction some general points okay now let us come to the chapter the nature of the reward so it was what kind of reward it was the revolt of the begin the real chapter the original chapter begins here the revolt of 1857 has been termed as a sepoy mutiny by the british i told you in the introduction class british people call it as a sepoy mutiny who is sepoy the soldiers in the lower level and why they are called sipo you know that is uh, uh, the indian people who are the who are working in the british army so they are called sipoi uh, we will call some uh, we will call sipoi that means the people belongs to the lower grade fourth class helping staff usi type sipoi and these people even if they are very sincere to the britishers they cannot go beyond a particular level Uske alawa jo higher post pura British law ka tha. Iske isse jada nahi ja sakta tha. 
So now, Sepoy mutiny by the British. Some Indian historians prefer to call the first war of Indian. And this is why you You are the students of history. Now, koi bhi ab history dekho, koi bhi ab history dekho, India ka dekho, America ka dekho, koi bhi ho. Ye history ab, amara jo samne jo present kiya hua history, always it project or it shows the good things about our country. History does it, don't think that the history always shows the reality. So, our history is always justified. For example, I will tell you, example, Kashmir is the, the problem area now. And the people who are fighting to uh, liberate Kashmir, so we call them as a militant, terrorists, we call them as a militant. And from the view of India, we call them militants or terrorists. That is because we see them as. But the people in the Kashmir or the people who want to liberate Kashmir and the Kashmir that is the Pakistan occupied Kashmir and the other one, they want to make Kashmir together and form an independent country. For those people whom we call the terrorists, they are the Rajasnehi, they are the people who love their country. Understood? So the view of the people. We, the Indian people, see those people as the militant. But for the Kashmir people, they are the people who sacrifice their life for the country. And you know, and perhaps you do not know, when you read the newspaper, uh, when you uh, read the newspaper, even the five minutes, no problem. You uh, have more than this one, you need to get. P-O-K. So what do you mean by P-O-K? Pakistan P-O occupied Kashmir. So at the time of partition, and the, the Kashmir was a princely state. You need to understand this fact. So Kashmir was a princely state. What do you mean by princely state? Princely state ka matlab AA. That is, during the British period, they used to give the money to British and the king could rule the country. That is called the princely state. And the Britishers, yes, they don't disturb, but they should. They are under, the, under British and this the king has to give the money to British. And these states are called princely state. And Kashmir was a princely state. Now, so at the time of that is the freedom, so they have made a rule. So the princely state and almost all princely state, they want to stay alone. They want to continue with their own country. But we have made an agreement at the time of independence. Now we cannot tolerate any, we cannot accept of continuing any princely state. Either they should be the part of Pakistan or they should be the part of India. Understood. No more princely state. Now, either they should be the part of India or they should be the part of Pakistan. Now, let's come back to Kashmir. Kashmir is the, uh, what is called, uh, Kashmir is a, a princely state. And uh, Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir, there are two areas. The Kashmir area, basically, they are Muslim dominated area. Jammu is basically Hindu dominated area, as far as my knowledge is concerned. Perhaps your parents may be able to help you in a better way, perhaps. Now, so, but the main, that is the ruler was a Hindu, uh, Raja uh, uh, Hindu, and he was neither ready to join with Pakistan, nor ready to join with India. He wanted to continue the Kashmir as an independent country, independent country. Okay. So now, so now this is, and uh, he was not ready. So all of a sudden what happened, that is because Kashmir is geographically very important area for India as well as Kashmir because it is in the top. Whoever occupies the Kashmir has got a control of, can easily con militarily, on the base, uh, on military they can control all those uh, regions because it lies in a such a high altitude. So it is geographically very important. So all of a sudden what happened to Pakistan, so they went with the army and conquered certain area of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, even today also it is under them that is called Pakistan occupied Kashmir. And all of a sudden the king had taken a decision. I am stopping it. The king had taken a decision that we will join with India. But when they join with India, they had put some conditions. So, India, that is, we will be the part of India, but Jammu and Kashmir will remain as a independent state. So, we cannot just unnecessarily disturb them. They will, they will be the part of India, but within India, they will remain as an independent country. 
and if the time is over so just uh, we will study next okay